Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel Maths with Panindra. In this video, we are going to discuss about ellipse short answer type questions example problem I am going to discuss. See here, the question is, if theta 1, theta 2 are the eccentric angles of the extremities of a focal chord other than the vertices of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 when a is greater than b and e is its eccentricity then show that the first result e into cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by 2. Second result, e plus 1 by e minus 1 is equal to cot of theta 1 by 2 into cot of theta 2 by 2. These two results in the competitive exams, they may chances to ask directly by using these formulas, these standard results or the applications of this formula chances are there these students in ipe four marks question they may chances to ask either any one of them they will ask let us discuss the answer before that we need to draw the figure if theta 1 theta 2 are two extremities of focal cord of the ellipse so ellipse figure we need to draw So, this is the ellipse equation. Major axis, minor axis. After that, this is x, this is x dash, this is y, y dash. Here, the focal card we need to draw, no? so I will change that. So, this is the focal card, we need to write the information. This is focus, this is T of T1, I will explain in the matter what is T of T1, what is Q of T2. So, P of T1, Q of T2, these are the extremities of the focal cord. First step let P of T1, Q of T2, two extremities of focal cord. ellipse is in the standard form x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 dear students no need to buy hot anything so theta 1 theta 2 they are eccentric angle no so parametric point we are taking on the ellipse here what is p of t1 what is q of t2 here i am mentioning dear students These two points we are taking now that are P of theta 1 means A cos theta 1, B sin theta 1 and Q of 
ए कॉस टीटा टू बी साइन टीटा टू वेर टीटा वन इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो एंड टीटा टू इज नॉट इक्वल टू फाइव एंड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ फोकस वी नो दैट ना ए कॉमा जीरो एंड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ फोकस यस इक्वल टू ए कॉमा जीरो फोकस कोऑर्डिनेट्स so this is a focal chord the extremities of the focal chord of the ellipse equation we wrote next uh, by observing the figure first step is over second step p s q is a focal chord then p comma s comma q or collinear whenever the the collinear we have the property so what property we have that is slope of ps so from the figure slope of ps is equal to slope of sq slope of ps what is slope of ps p point and s point observed dear students y2 minus y1 p point is x1 y1 s point is x2 y2 so definition of slope is y2 minus y1 by here i am writing slope definition just uh, for the convenience when two points are available we can write a slope definition y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 dear students you understand that this point p is x1 y1 Yes, is x two by two. P s slope we are calculating directly. Y two minus y one means b sine theta one. Sorry, ah, oh, y two that we are assuming minus zero. So yes, is x one y one. P is x two by two. According to that, we can next x two minus x one. So a cos theta one. Minus e definition of slope when two points are there. Similarly for slope of S Q. So B sine theta two minus zero by e cos theta two minus e. So. From here, numerator b sine theta one divided by denominator a we are taking common cos theta one minus e is equal to b sine theta two divided by a take common cos theta two minus e. Both sides b b get cancelled in the denominator a a also get cancelled. After that we have to do the cross multiplication. So you will get sine theta one into cos theta two minus e is equal to sine theta two into Cos theta one minus e. Now, actual multiplication here we are doing. Sine theta one into cos theta two minus e into sine theta one is equal to 
साइन टीटा टू इंटू कॉस टीटा वन माइनस ई साइन टीटा टू नाउ व्हाट आई एम डूइंग इज द टर्म्स कंटेनिंग ई वन साइड द टर्म्स कंटेनिंग ई वन साइड does not containing terms another side so here sin theta 1 into cos theta 2 sin e minus e sin theta 1 i am taking this side so sin theta 2 into cos theta 1 we are taking this side minus sin theta 2 into cos theta 1 is equal to e sin theta 1 Minus e sine theta one. We are taking this side. We will get it. E sine theta one. So already minus e sine theta two is there. So in LHS, if you observe carefully, it is in the form of sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. LHS, dear students. So in place of a comma b, theta one theta two is there. So sine of theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to from this e take common and write it the rest of the term sin theta 1 minus sin theta 2 that implies here we have the formula sin a definition sin a definition means in off angles multiples and sub multiples of trigonometry Sin a can be written as two sin a by two cos a by two. So similarly, sin theta one minus theta two can be written as two sin theta one minus theta two divided by two into cos theta one minus theta two divided by two. So sin a in terms of half angles is over. Is equal to e into This bracket value is in the form of sin c minus sin d. Sin c minus sin d formula: two cos c plus d by two into sin c minus d by two. So here, two into sin c minus sin d is once again I'll repeat: sin c minus sin d equal to two cos c plus d by two. Two cos Theta one plus theta two divided by two into sine theta one minus theta two divided by two. Now on both sides, first you have to cancel it to two. Next sine of theta one minus theta two, sine of theta one minus theta two, you have to cancel it. So after cancellation in the terms, cos of theta one minus theta two. By two is equal to e times of cos of theta one plus theta two divided by two. This is the first question what they are asking to prove. So the first question is e times of cos of theta one plus theta two by two equal to cos of theta one minus theta two by two. I hope you understand this student. So first question completed. Now we'll move to the second part. From this only we will continue. So Romanet two question. To get the Romanet two. From this, what I am doing is cos of theta one minus theta two divided by two whole divided by. Cos of theta one plus theta two divided by two is equal to e. We can write it now. We are making e subject here. After that, 
we are going to do by using the property by componendo and dividendo by componendo and dividendo for this term so what we are getting is e means what e by 1 only no so here cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by 2 plus cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 divided by 2 by cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by 2 minus cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 divided by 2 which is equal to e plus 1 divided by e minus 1 a by b equal to c by d means a plus b by a minus b equal to c plus d by c minus d that is what I did here so after applying component or dividend the properties dear students so, this we can write it as, can we write like this, cos theta 1 by 2 minus theta 2 by 2 plus cos theta 1 by 2 plus theta 2 by 2 whole divided by cos theta 1 by 2 minus theta 2 by 2 minus cos theta 1 by 2 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to e plus 1 by e minus 1. The numerator is of the form cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. Cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b is 2 cos a cos b. So, 2 cos a value is theta 1 by 2 into cos b value is theta 2 by 2. So, cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b is 2 cos a cos b divided by cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. So, we can write it as 2 sin a sin b. Cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b is 2 sin a that means a means what here theta 1 by 2 into sin theta 2 by 2 is equal to e plus 1 divided by e minus 1. So, here 2 2 get cancelled. Cos by sin is cot. So, cot theta 1 divided by 2 into cos theta 2 by sin theta 2. So, cot theta 2 divided by 2 is equal to e plus 1 divided by e minus 1. So, they are asking to prove the result is cos theta 1 by 2 into cot theta 2 by 2 equal to e plus 1 by e minus 1. I hope you understand your students. This is the second result which we proved. Thank you dear students. I will meet with another video of uh, ellipse example. Most of the questions I covered in our channel but still some questions are there that questions I am going to cover. Thank you.